This video is meant to introduce you to the Corona. And in this case, we're going to use the Soho Observatory data. And they have a little movie theater where I can select what type of image. And in this one, I want the C2 image. I'm using the lower resolution, and I've already picked out a couple of dates. And again, I've pre-loaded all of this. Otherwise, you hit Generate, and it would take a while for everything to load. So here's our image. And just to know what you're seeing, in order to see the corona, which is much fainter than the surface of the sun, we have to actually block out the sun. So this disk here is blocking out the sun. And this white line shows us how big the sun would have been if we could see it. But again, if we didn't block that out, it would overwhelm the entire image. So the corona is everything you're seeing around the outside. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit play and then show you a few different features. One, as you watch this, you'll notice that there's a general outward flow all the time. That outward flow is what we call the solar wind. Occasionally, you'll have a larger sort of blip or belch, or you could describe it in several different ways, a envelope of gas that gets lifted and thrown off of the sun. Those are our CMEs. There was one that was a little bit of a mild one. There's a little bit more, little bit of one over there, little bit of one over there and so on as it goes around. Now, occasionally, in addition to these CMEs or these bright eruptions, you'll also sometimes see darker regions. And those are sometimes called coronal holes. It's a region where there's not as much solar wind going out from the sun at that particular location at the time. Now this is your introduction video. To answer the questions in your lab manual, you're going to need to watch the second video, which is the observations of the corona.